Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Sides, and this course is Principles of Microeconomics. We are in Chapter 3, Interdependence and the Gains from Trade. We will discuss Chapter 3 in conjunction with Chapter 9. Chapter 3 is theory. Chapter 9 is the application of the theories we will discuss here. At the end of this study, you should be able to answer the following questions. In chapter one, you will recall that we discussed a principle, one of 10. Um, this one specifically was number five, that trade can make everyone better off. In that lecture, I told you that trade is a win-win, not a win-lose. Again, we will combine this chapter's theory with chapter nine's application to better understand how and why interdependence is necessary in economics. In this lecture's example, we will use two countries, but it could have just as easily been two individuals, which is, if you will remember in your textbook, they use two individuals as opposed to two countries. And our example for this lecture are the countries, the United States and Japan. And we're going to look at two goods, computers and wheat, and we only have one uh, resource, which is labor. Those are our givens. We will discuss uh, production possibilities more in depth in chapter 13, but for this lecture, know that the production possibility is a concept which shows the various combinations, combinations of output a group in this example, a country, the United States or Japan, can produce given a finite or limited resource, resources. Excuse me. Um, in our example for this lecture, you have the United States, and remember our resource is labor, and the United States can, has 50,000 hours of labor, and in that time they can either produce um, one computer requires 100 hours of labor, and one ton of wheat requires 10 hours of labor. And if we were to um, graph out this um, production possibility, this is what we would get. We show this combination of our givens as a graph. And traditionally speaking, our production possibilities frontier, which is the graph, is a bold line not a straight line as demonstrated here. Um, and we show it as a straight line here because we're trying to keep things simple. Um, and um, it's bold because we want to show the effects of, of opportunity costs. Remember in chapter one, we talked about opportunity costs. So if we show opportunity costs, then this line would be bold outward um, and not a straight line. Also know that the production possibilities frontier or in this case, we're going to call it PPF, shows you what the trade-offs are. Um, given um, this lecture's example, here is the United States PPF. Um, and this is if we were to trade with Japan. And again, know that for argument's sake, here um, they can either produce all wheat or all computers given the 50,000 hours of labor or some combination in between. And this line represents the combination. If the US decided, however, not to trade with Japan, this would be um, the United States uh, production possibility um, frontier 
And when a country chooses not to trade, then we call this production possibility frontier, uh, we call it the consumption possibility frontier because this is what they can uh, consume. Um, they will consume what they produce. And so with trade, it's called a production possibility frontier. Without trade, it is called a consumption, consumption possibility frontier. And given our example, um, on the flip side, this is Japan's production possibility frontier if it trades with the United States. And as you can see, we would say that this is flatter. Um, graphically speaking, it looks flatter um, primarily because, again, um, they're only producing, they're at 1,000, 2,000, whereas previously with the United States, we had ours up to 5,000. And this is Japan's production possibility frontier without trade. And this would be, since it's without trade, this is Japan's consumption uh, possibility frontier. This concludes this segment of our lecture. In the next lecture, we will evaluate and draw conclusions based on this example of the U.S. and Japan and the production and or the consumption production, uh, consumption or production possibility frontier. I look forward to speaking to you soon.